Recently, I watched an A&E production of Henry Fielding's Tom Jones that I picked up at an antique store. And all I have to say is that I wish U.S. citizens could have more of a sense of humor about themselves the way the people of Great Britain have about themselves. The British are always poking fun at themselves, and it seems to me that they have been doing so for a very long time. The British actors seem to delight in playing the ridiculous characters. I mean, you can tell they are having fun playing the meanies and the stupids. And they play the meanie stupid roles in such a way that you don't hate the meanie stupids. It is possible to laugh at the meanie stupids without being mean. It's a skill the British seem to have perfected. And they are also able to believe in a happy ending. The happy ending is a staple of British literature. After all, the best of times and the worst of times exist together. And then I listened to someone reading Geronimo's words. You know, Geronimo's story in his own words. I was struck by the way Geronimo listed the people killed in each fight as a way to establish who won. His presentation was so matter-of-fact as to be absurd. I mean, he did not realize he was a terrible grudge holder and that he used the notion of revenge to justify repeated criminal behavior. He was always itching for another raid, like a pirate with absolutely no remorse. It seems that Geronimo did not understand the notion of ongoing peace. He signed a peace treaty and kept right on raiding and then was sincerely confused, thinking that the U.S. broke their promises by not giving him what they had promised, never realizing that he did not live up to his side of the bargain. Yes, it's tragic. But perhaps enough time has passed now to allow us to laugh at the comedy of two such different cultures colliding. After all, the British can laugh at the absurdity of the Crusades. I mean, the British used the notion of a holy war in order to justify terrible plundering and stealing. So that's absurdly funny, like the story of Geronimo. It seems to me people in the U.S. want to find heroes and victims when what we have is a bunch of terrible bumblers. With such a crazy, violent past, it's amazing we're still here. So that's funny and faith-building. I'm reminded of the silence of those who have lived through traumatic abuse, protecting their abusers with silence. And then the abusers change the story, politicking in order to look better. We have to be willing to be foolish in order to be wise. And we need to chance trusting each other more, because we are not our ancestors. We are not our ancestors. We still bumble around though. Nobody is perfect. Nobody has to be. There is no such thing as perfect. Perfect is subjective. So we can do our best and know too that we can never be perfect. Life's funny. In the end, we always seem to be saved from our own buffoonery. Personally, I have lived through many, many happy endings during the worst of times. Happiness is something we bring to life, not something we get from life. It is our responsibility to laugh. Laugh, desperado, laugh.